morning, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching The Inside Scoop. I'm your host, Steve Scanlon. Sitting on stage with me tonight, once again, for many times before, <laughs> is Joe. Hello. Welcome, Joe. Hello. And um, what's neat about starting this episode is they have a camera now behind the cameras for the people who's going to talk into the mic stand. So we got the two people who's going to be on the second half of the show um, throughout this segment. They occasionally will answer questions and stuff. I'm referring to the guy who's going to co-host, Bubba, and making her return is Emily. So they're behind the cameras right now. So later on, um, they'll be able to talk while we're talking. When we're behind the cameras, Joe, we'll be able to talk and have a camera on us as well. Okay, well, we're halfway through April already. And um, next month, it's too early to dedicate the episode to veterans, you know, Memorial Day coming up, but we'll do that next month. Well, tonight's episode is wrestling and we got the results, or should I say Joe has the results of WrestleMania. Night one and night two, or well, night two results are gonna be um, announced by the second half of the show. Bubba and Emily will announce those. But um, night one, what are the results, Joe? Um, we've had it was WWE title, Lashley versus Drew, Lashley won. That was a great match, I liked that match. That was a good match, very good match. Uh, next we got a fatal five-way tag match. The winners go against the uh, women's tag champs. It's the te teams of Lana and Naomi, the Riot Squad, Carmella and Billy Kay, uh, Dana Brooke and, and Mandy Rose, and Natalia against Tamina, and Natalia and Tamina, and Natalia and Tamina won. Which I called. <laughs> yeah. That is true. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Cesaro versus Rollins. Cesaro won in his Which first WrestleMania match. You ain't got the thing, baby. <laughs> if you ain't got that swing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got the Raw Tag Titles: New Day against AJ and Omos. <laughs> and we got the new champions of AJ and Omos. Almost destroyed those two <laughs> by himself. Oh yeah, he was quite dominant during that match. Uh, the next one is the cage match between Braun Strowman and Shane McMahon. Braun won. Which was a good match. I mean, <laughs> partially what happened, what, what had still was going to happen, Braun partially tore down the cage. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Go. good match, though. I was surprised um, Shane McMahon was able to move after that match, after being thrown from their top of their... Um, cage down to the mat. Whoa, he's, he's been going off worse. Sure. He's gone off worse. Good point. <laughs> uh, this next one was really good. This one was a really good one. Bad Bunny and Damian Priest against Miz and Morrison and Bunny and uh, Priest won. Bad Bunny actually surprised <laughs> a lot of people in the wrestling world. Oh, he yeah. actually did some wrestling moves. Absolutely. I mean, like, a Canadian destroyer outside the ring. I mean, everyone was in shock when he did that. <laughs> He you really, I mean, I feedback. joked about Bad Bunny being kind of a waste of time. He he actually impressed me. I wasn't expecting. You weren't the only one. Wrestle. Now, Bad Bunny, um, he was the talk of a lot of conversations after WrestleMania. Even during his match, of all how um, good he did in the match. Now, I got to say, night one, out of those predictions, I did so bad. I only got one correct. So far. There's just a couple more matches to go. I got two, right? Oh, there's more from night one? Yes. There's it, oh, one I more at the main that. event of night one. Okay. We're getting to now. Oh, Smackdown yeah. women's Sasha titles, Sasha against, Sasha against Bianca Belair. And we had a new champion in Bianca Belair. That was a really good match. That really was an excellent choice for main event. Great match. Sasha and, and Bianca Belair lit that place up. No, I, I mean... Sasha is using Bianca's hair against her, trying to choke yes. her with it and tie her hands up with it, and, and ended up her hair essentially kind of helped her get the win when she whipped her in the in, in the tummy and then yeah. then pinned her. I believe I picked Belly to win. So did I. The second. I know I I had thrown Emily. Emily's vote was for Sasha, so I mentioned that last show. 
Now, there was rumors recently now about Sasha Banks on YouTube. Um, she's frustrated with WWE about having to lose that match, that um, she's thinking about quitting the WWE. I don't know if you heard anything about that. I haven't heard anything about that. Um, supposedly, she's frustrated with WWE and she wants to quit, so it'll be um, something to tune into. And um, I know Roman, Roman Reigns will be announced tonight too, right? Mm -hmm. But um, there was talk about him wanting to retire from wrestling and become an actor full time. So that's not. I haven't thing heard that either. But you're, you're, you're telling either. me something. That's Steve. on YouTube. Um, I forgot what um, website. Now. I saw night one. Night two, I wasn't able to stream from Peacock for some reason, but I'm going to attempt to watch it tonight. But um, other night one, which I did see, my favorite match was the cage match, only because it's um, the high bumps, well, the high spots, rather, that um, Shane McMahon did, but also with Braun Strowman getting his revenge from being bullied by Shane McMahon prior to WrestleMania. He was able to get his regrets. But I mean, nothing against the other matches. The other matches were <coughs> great as well. Joe, do you have a favorite match on night one WrestleMania list of matches? I would say the, probably the Bad Bunny tag match. Hmm. That was a good it was point. a good match. I mean, it was uh, surprising that was a good match. I thought Miz and Morrison would destroy those two, but... Bad Bunny was true. the talk of night one, I think, after, on the social media that night. Everyone was talking about that Canadian destroy mm -hmm. he did outside the ring to Morrison. That was probably the highlight of that whole match. Now, no one's expected that. Do you guys that. have a favorite match from WrestleMania night one? I had a, if I had to pick one, I'd probably say Sasha and Bianca. Hmm. I really liked that, that match. It was, it was even match. It was a back and forth, entertaining. Um, two great athletes. So you, I don't look at as women's wrestling as women's wrestling and, girl, and men's wrestling. I look at athletes. They're all athletes, every one good of them. Point. I've been next to some very, very good local female wrestlers who are just great athletes. No, not to interrupt, but one thing I want to bring up, I'm so happy that the WWE now give time for women's wrestling because growing up watching wrestling, I did watch women's wrestling time to time. They did have... Divas or rest, women's wrestling, but they didn't give them much, as much time, should I say, time slot on their wrestling programs as they do now. But another thing that I like to compliment wrestling with, now nowadays you see a lot of female referees. That's something new. Vicky and I, think that's uh, a I know works idea. for WWE. There's uh, a local, we, we've seen one for the NECW for many years. Mm -hmm. um, I can never remember her first name. I know her, um, her last name is Mahoney. She works for Sheldon Goldberg as a referee. Okay. She's been working with him for a good 10 years now. And um, I remember um, back in the 1990s, there was only one female referee that I saw on occasion. She uh, refereed for Yankee Pro Wrestling. I didn't get a chance to get her name. but um, Was that Brittany Brown? Great, I'm not sure, but she did a great job refereeing. All right, Emily, do you have a favorite match from WrestleMania night one? My favorite matches would either be like the Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair or the Bad Bunny match. I like those two. Hmm. Awesome. All right, Joe, now the sad news. Yeah. That's... Anyone pass away since the last Yeah, I got at least nine on my list. Nine? Wow. Uh, first is actor James Hampton. He's appeared in movies and TV shows. Uh, Can you educate us who James Hampton is? Because I don't recognize that name. I don't either. He was in he was in Police Academy Five as the mayor of Miami. Okay. Uh, next one is this one comes out of England. Prince Philip, husband of Queen Elizabeth II. I heard about that one. Yeah. This was the grandfather of. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah. I apologize. He's the grandfather of uh, Prince William, right? Yep. Okay. This one is wrestling related. The father of Matt and Jeff Hardy, Claude Hardy, passed away. I didn't know that. I found out uh, night two of WrestleMania is when I found out on was it Facebook on the wrestling source group. Uh, this next one is 
Gloria Henry, uh, she played Dennis the Menace's mom in the 1960s Dennis the Menace TV series. Okay, yeah, not horror, but... Uh, we got a Rin Tin Tin star from back like the 50s or 60s. Uh, he was a child actor named Lee Aker. He played Rusty. This next one is a Harry Potter actress. Which one? Helen McCrory. She played Draco Malfoy's mother. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Uh, the next one we got the Adams Family's Cousin It and Buck Rogers' Tweaky, Felix, Felix Cilia. No, that's the same character, same person. Same actor playing both, right? Yep. And we got another family, that the famous celebrities, the mother of Mark and Donnie Wahlberg. Yep. Alma passed. Wahlberg passed away. Now, I wonder, um, before you go any further, for those of you who've been to the Wahlburgers restaurants, burger restaurants, I um, been to one, uh, is it in Hingham? Yes. Yeah. And on the ceiling at the restaurant, they have listed the different shows and movies that the Wahlbergs appeared in or acted in. And I wonder if they're going to include her name on the ceiling um, along with, um, you know, because where she passed away, I wonder if they're going to have like a dedication to her on the ceiling since it's Hollywood related. And lastly, former Vice President Walter Mondale. To go along with the former Vice President Walter Mondale, I, I think back years ago when he had a debate with ex late President Ronald Reagan, there was an issue being brought up in the newspapers about the age difference between Walter Mondale and Ronald Reagan. And I remember Ronald Reagan looking straight in the camera with a straight face and saying, there's been an issue with this election brought up about age. And he looked back at Walter Mondale and said, I'm not going to criticize my opponent for his obvious youth and inexperience. And they both kind of cracked up at that message. That's, mm. I mean, Walter Mondale was a great, a great politician. Of course, he was vice president of the, uh, Jimmy Carter. Mm. Rest in peace to all of our folks who passed away. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, um... Oh, we, how about, oh, well, how okay, about one ahead, person you had mentioned? Scotty Pippen's son passed away yesterday, too. Oh, yeah, son Anton. Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, that was on the internet yesterday. Now, um, I asked Joe this question. Maybe you would know, Bubba. Have you noticed on RAR the last few weeks they've been doing a lot of handicap I, matches? I can, I can ex oh, handicap matches, no. No, because I noticed, um... Last few weeks on Raw, they've been having a handicap match. I mean, with different participants, but they've been having two-on-one -on -one matches. And I <coughs> noticed that match, that type of match, has been being used a lot recently. Mm -hmm. Well, I know um, Drew McIntyre had a couple of them. Mm -hmm. so. Now, um, he has a match coming up at the next pay-per-view, Backlash, right? Yeah. McIntyre? Who's yep. facing? Lashley. Lashley. For the title. A return match. Yep. A WrestleMania rematch. Have they, um, WrestleMania backlash. <laughs> is it like a um, special match or is it just a title defense? It's like a title defense, as I know. Right, let's do the prediction for that. Um, we'll pick for that. I'm going to go with um, Lashley retaining the title because I think the Hurt Business will interfere. I don't think the Hurt Business even exists anymore. Oh, okay. Let me well, rephrase that. MVP will... Retribution's been um, kind of working with MVP, yes. so... Yeah, Mason... Uh, Tiba. And Tiba. Who got unmasked this past week. Yeah, by Strowman and um, hmm. Dr Drew. Yep. Hmm. Who do you guys pick to win that match for um, Backlash? I'm going to say Drew McIntyre is going to win somehow. I'm going to say last year's going to win that and going to keep that going until uh, SummerSlam. That's what yeah. I think. I think McIntyre will win it back at SummerSlam. And you, Joe? I'm going to go with the man with the Claymore. All right. Well, um, we're going to get ready for our second segment of the show. We're going to have Bubba and Emily come on stage as they will um, mention the night two results of WrestleMania plus the other stuff that they will mention afterwards. So we're gonna swap, so stay tuned, folks. Well, w welcome back, folks, to the Inside Scoop. Thank you, Joe, and 
Steve, who are now in our remote seats behind our cameras. <laughs> you get to see their input. Again, I want to thank you, Emily. Uh, oh, look who's back. <laughs> Emily's back after taking our last show off. I want to thank DJ for filling in, but <laughs> no one can replace you, Emily. We're kind of lost without you. Well, first thing what we're going to get to, Emma, is night two of WrestleMania. Okay. Let's go through it and so give our input. Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt, and Randy Orton ended up winning that match. That match, in a way, disappointed me a little bit. It could have been a better match, I think. Um, really, what's going on now between Alexa Bliss and The Fiend? Yeah. Are they, are they breaking up? Are they I think I know what's going on. I don't think that was the real Fiend. I've seen something about that. There's a chance that might not have been the real Fiend yep. in that match. Well, so I, I get some input into that after we go through this listing. So Yeah. The next one is the women's tag titles. Nia Jackson, Shayna Baszler versus Natalia and Tamina. And Nia and Shayna won. That wasn't a bad match either. It was That was a pretty good match back and forth. But Yeah, Na that was pretty good. Nia and, and, and Shayna retain their titles, but I, I see friction amongst them right now. I, they're feeling they're losing their titles soon. Yeah. Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn and KO ended up winning. That, that match also disappointed me a little bit. They could have had that go better than it did. Both yeah. those guys know how to wrestle. They're putting this... this uh, they're putting those two like they're like jocks again, in my opinion. Yeah. Like they're putting them against each other again, like they were like first starting. Mm-hmm. And it I just mean, could have been way. Sami Zayn can wrestle if he wants to. When he, they're making him more into a joke. Yeah. When he is an athlete. So the U.S. title, um, Matt Riddle versus Sheamus, and the Sheamus one. So we have a new champ. And I'm shocked at that because I, I, I believe I picked Riddle to win that match. Oh, yeah, so did I. The IC title plus a Nigerian jump fight, Big E versus Apollo Crews, and Apollo Crews won, and it's a new champ. Got a little help from a friend. I think he was the guy that was in the underground, that was in the yeah, WWE yeah, underground. I that was, too. That's what it looks like to me. Mm -hmm. uh, that was an upset. I picked Big E to win that match. I think we all did, actually. Mm-hmm. The Raw Women's title, Oscar versus Rhea Ripley, and Rhea Ripley won, and so we have a new champ. That was also a really good match, back and forth, back and forth, and Rhea Ripley f reached her dream of becoming WWE champion. I mean, she's a 24-year-old, yeah. great wrestler from Australia. Is that it? She's only 24. She's only 24, yeah. and she's as, wow. she's as tough as you can get. I really like that I match. I thought she it was, was like, like older. I, I think Oscar's a little older. Okay. I think Oscar's. I think she's 38. If I remember, yeah. or 39. I think Oscar needs a little time off, but she's not going to get it. I've heard rumors. Mm -hmm. I'm, here's a little hint. Here's a little bit of a scoop. I think it's going to happen. It's going to be Rhea Ripley against Charlotte Flair against Oscar at Backlash. Backlash. I in the triple threat match that Monday night too. I can kind of sense that. The last match is the Universal title, the, and it's a three-way. Roman Reigns versus Edge versus Daniel Bryan, and Roman Reigns won. Of course, you got help from uh, his cousin, uh, Jay Uso. Jay Uso. Um, that was a great match back and forth. That, yeah. That probably, probably was the best match of all WrestleMania, I think. I think that, that was the, probably the best match they had in all WrestleMania, of all, both nights. In my opinion. Talking about Jay Uso, he won the Andre the Giant Battle Royal on Friday yes. night. Yes. Yeah. I actually picked that too the night before. <laughs> so. Oh wow. Yep. Oh, well, we didn't even go over that, but I picked that. I picked him to win that. He was the last one introduced, and kind of saw that happening. Like the um, three way because it like I understand got knocked out, but they didn't like get knocked out right in the like five minutes like some usually do in the three ways when they do that so I thought it was a very like nice match that actually ended up going to the person that like deserved it and stuff like that it's really good I liked it I mean all in all WrestleMania wasn't wasn't bad this year I don't think it was the best one but it was good I, I wasn't entertained um I it's what the once a year you know tradition it was good. I mean, interesting. Even people were mentioning too about on on the new network how 
I know my cable connection kept doing it. It kept sticking every now and then so you couldn't see the match. It would kind of jump around. Had its time it worked okay. I don't know what's, what's, if that's just the cable company or it's the company itself or that's just Peacock getting overloaded like the WWE channel was. Yeah, that's what mine was doing. Yep. Mine was like stopping. Yeah, it was like in then, slow motion sometimes. And it would Yeah, and then through. it would like um, go like with freezing and stuff sipping like mm -hmm. you were saying. Oh, no, it was good, though. Now, to go back to what we discussed earlier about the Fiend match. Now, I read the same thing online, that that was Bo Dallas. Yeah, that's what I was reading. Now, interestingly, um, and I'll mention this, and there's not really deaths, but WWE had some people that were terminated last week who, who contracts were not yeah. renewed, and they were, asked, they were thankfully dismissed. Mm -hmm. Bo Dallas was on that list. Shockingly, he hasn't really worked in about a year and a half. I mean, I mean yeah. Chris Axel's been gone for a couple, for a while now, but the main person on that list who's gone is, and it also affected our commentating team on Monday nights is uh, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe got released by WWE. Um, I mentioned you mentioned Billy Kay with yeah. Carmella. Billy Kay is no longer with the company either. And your former tag was released too. Huh? Her former tag partner for the Yes. Yeah. Peyton Royce. So the Iconics are no more. I think Peyton Royce is definitely going to go on go on to AEW. That's what I was thinking. She's definitely a good. I mean, she had a great match against Oscar a few weeks ago. Yeah. Um. Who else was was let go? Uh, Kalisto from the uh, Lucha House Party. He might go to um, AEW also. Possibly. Because he has some like good talent. Mickey James, I think, is going to retire. Mickey James was also released. Yeah. Um, who's the other name? It was another one. She was one of the newer ones that barely Blake. came into the WWE, but she disappeared as soon as she came into the yeah, well, Blake Wesley was another uh, wrestler. He worked with the guy who works with Elias now, and he was let go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe one of you guys can tell me what happened to the um, Office of Pain? Is that, is that, That's um, a good question. What happened to them? They just kind of faded just away. Just disappeared. I never saw them, and they never mentioned anything about them. I know, right when they faded away from, like, Raw and SmackDown, mm -hmm. they went back to NXT, but I don't know where they went from there because they disappeared from NXT also, but I know they went back to NXT, but... Yep, gone. Who, oh, Mojo Rawley was also released by WWE. Long time <coughs> working with the company. Wasn't the best wrestler, but he was he had a decent character. Yeah. We had a major upset Monday night. Yes, I think so too. Riddle beat beating Randy Orton. Yeah. That was a major, major Could upset. Have been a crucifix pin. Yes. I mean. It's been it's been interesting a little bit on Raw. They're getting some new new storylines going, some old storylines happening. You know, they kind of some of them died, like the whole stupid one with Murphy and Rey Mysterio's daughter. They dropped that whole storyline, read it on the internet. That was that was kind of odd. I mean, a 19 year old girl with a 34 year old guy. That's interesting. And it was it had nothing to do with wrestling. Um, Another g name that we haven't seen for a while, Alistair Black. Where is he? What's happening well, to I've him? I've seen rumors that they're saying that he may be coming back. I heard he was injured. Oh, okay. Same as Nikki Cross. What happened to Nikki Cross? I haven't seen Nikki yeah. Cross in two months. Um, I like Nikki Cross. I think she's just a, a good little fire plug of a wrestler. She has her own character. And I don't have an answer. Killian, Killian Dane's wife. Yeah. <laughs> okay? He's a tough girl. Tough little, tough little wrestler. What more? Oh. To kind of go off the subject a couple seconds here of, of um, wrestling to something <coughs> actually a little bit more serious. Uh, and this is my own statement. It has nothing to do with the station or maybe even the inside scoops people. I'm glad to see the policeman got found guilty in those charges against that man, against Mr. Floyd, who he killed. I mean, I, I watched some of that case here and there, part of it. And what that man did to him was essentially he murdered him. He killed him. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he was found guilty. Again, that has nothing to do with the station's political views or even inside scoops. Really has nothing to do with wrestling. But yeah. And on the uh, side note, too, the Red Sox have been playing pretty good baseball. I mean, they're, they're doing very well. They lost the first three games, and they won like eight, nine in a row. They're playing okay. They're playing pretty decent. Celtics are on a tear right now, so are the Bruins. Mm -hmm. So our local sports teams are doing okay. 
Um, we got about two and a half more minutes here. Yeah. I'm not sure what, what we're going to yeah, talk about. about baseball, Bubba. Um, do you know if they're going to allow uh, fans in the audience? Yeah, they're already in the audience. Minor, minor league? I don't know. Specific? Okay. I don't know. Because Joe and I was talking about perhaps going to a few Brockton um, Rocks games. I don't know if the Brockton Rocks are playing this year. I have no idea okay. what's, a, what's up with that, that league, that division of baseball. I haven't heard anything about that at all. I was hearing that maybe some, but I don't know if it was exactly the Rocks. But I heard that some of them were going to have a limited capacity of fans in it. But that's what the Major League Baseball is. That's what the Red Sox are doing. Mm -hmm. We're only getting like, what, 17%, something like that? that a couple now, thousand people I'm a game. I'm hoping... Um, not to change the subject, but it has to do with the <coughs> baseball stadium. McCoy Stadium, I'm hoping that they host wrestling this year. Um, I don't think I they will with it being they closed. they canceled because of the coronavirus. I got a feeling it won't be because it's closed. No. Yep. Do they? Okay. Do you guys know what they're going to like turn that into? Or? There was rumors going that the Lowell Spinners were, were trying to buy the facility and move down from Lowell to... McCoy Stadium, which I would enjoy too. That, that's uh, single A or a double A baseball too. Mm. I mean, that's a nice stadium there, but they shouldn't just close down and leave it there. Mm, they should. It doesn't even have to be baseball. They should just like do it something so it doesn't like yeah, just, go to waste. Yep. It, I mean, it, now there's an independent wrestling show coming up next month. May 15th, uh, River Street in Woonsocket. The, um, Correct. I always forget, but WCC, W. No, um, I think it's the New Road Wrestling, NWW. Yep, yeah, run by James Allen, uh, Trooper Gilmore. I know the headline is going to be uh, Bushwhacker Luke. It's going to be there, the f former Bushwhacker. I don't know of any other big names who, who are going there at, at this time. I know the tickets are $15 in advance. Look for it online. At twenty dollars at the door. Uh, I'm debating whether I'm going to that game. I might have something else I have to do that night, so uh -huh. I can't tell you if I'm going to that venue or not that night. Um, I mean, I want to thank M for being back, coming back, <laughs> Ben coming back to us. We did miss you for the last show. I had to deal with DJ. <laughs> um, we feel bad for you, Bubba. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I want to thank our director. I want to thank WACS for, for directing us and our director for, for directing our show and allowing us to have this show every week. Uh, the new camera idea is a great idea. Yeah. Thanks again and Bye. have a good night. See ya.